uh, with us in studio. Uh, Mr. Gross, uh, the, the position of the British government since day one of, of, of what we've seen uh, unfolding here and the street, I wouldn't say the British people, but the British street could not have been further apart. That's right. And it's not just the British government. The opposition Labour Party leader, Keir Starmer, who uh, succeeded uh, Jeremy Corbyn, who was certainly very anti-Israel, Keir Starmer of the Labour Party has also been very strong backer of Israel and avoided calling for a ceasefire. Incidentally, Jeremy Corbyn, the former leader, was at the forefront of today's march of 300,000 people. He marched with a Hamas figure right at the front of the march. His tweet, which still accuses Israel of killing more than 500 people at the hospital it, which was hit, the hospital car park was hit by Islamic Jihad and maybe a few dozen were killed. That tweet is still up with 12.9 million views. So you can see that the street still has a lot of um, impact in Britain. Yeah. But I wouldn't just call it the street. There are two other... Um, Nexus, I would say academia and the media. You have on the media, especially the television media, not just the BBC, but also Sky, a drip, drip, drip demonization. I was listening this morning on Sky News. In one interview, the guest used the word genocide about what Israel, um, Israeli action in Gaza seven times. The other guest used apartheid. Of course, if you think that Israel is committing genocide or some kind of apartheid state, what's not to hate? I mean, it, it's ridiculous. But unfortunately, both the interviewer for Sky doesn't push back on that. They just let the interview say that. As far as academia is concerned, in Britain, as we see in America, Canada and elsewhere, um, some professors are way beyond, you know, humanity, like if I may give it some from Canada, Montreal, uh, two yeah. days ago, a professor, a humanities professor, told a Jewish student to, and I quote, go back to Poland, you, and then he used the Arabic word for whore, for prostitute. And this is a humanities Lovely. professor. But also in Britain, drip, drip, drip. Um, I'll just make one more point that I didn't Thank know you. till yesterday. I have a Sri Lankan friend from Sri Lanka, and she said, you know, we had this big terror attack on the church in Easter four years ago, they, the Islamists attacked a big a church mm -hmm. in Sri Lanka and also um, a hotel, 370 dead. She said, at first we thought they were local Islamists, but we then found out that they had been studied in London, they were rich kids, and they'd been brainwashed in British universities. So that worst terror attack in Sri Lanka was a direct connect to British universities. So, so uh, jihad is not uh, um, imported to Britain, but now exported from Correct. Britain. And, and one other the thing complete just so academics no. people don't know this the Khmer Rouge genocide in Cambodia where did they come up with this idea they studied in the Sorbonne the French Communist Party and academics in the Sorbonne so in other words it's not a joke when it, this is quite apart from the problem of Islamists and so on in, in Britain yeah, France it's, America yeah. it's not a joke when students are being brainwashed well,